I'm out here side Planned Parenthood in Virginia Beach, Virginia. This is the largest abortion clinic in this area. There's about four abortion clinics. And of course the doctor's offices commit abortion on their patients quite often. And this does not take into account chemical abortions which I'm sure exceed the surgical abortions going on in this place. You have to excuse me with the noise. See all this traffic? There's a lot of traffic outside here and uh, some can get quite noisy. Sometimes people yell and sometimes they, they uh, honk their horns and things. But anyhow, this is the largest abortion clinic in this area. It's on the side of a minority neighborhood. We all know how famous Planned Parenthood is for building their abortion mills on minority neighborhoods. And this is an example of that. It's a terrible place. Babies are being killed. They were packed this morning. But this time, no, they're coming and going. Some are leaving. New ones are coming. So it's a terrible place. Little children are being murdered in large numbers. You know, we had a mass shooting here in Virginia Beach maybe a month or so ago. I, I think 12 or 14 people were killed. That's not even half a day's work in this place. They kill that many people and here, you know, 25, 28, 24, whatever, it goes, it goes around and, uh, but no one, no, the city doesn't care. There's not a lot of the politicians talking about things about stopping this, but they go ballistic when it's, when the people are born, but if they're unborn, very few people care. But I'm glad to see Christians caring. When I started doing this, you know, decades ago, fighting abortion, we had very little help. The churches were not for us. The churches were pretty much against us. If you brought up the issue of uh, killing children by abortion and how evil it is, you were, it's, you were kind of shunned. But through time, we used to pray. We, have a, we used to have a prayer meeting that we pray, pray that God would reverse the Christian's attitude towards abortion. And, uh, and he seems to have done that. Most, most churches are against abortion now, except some liberal, wacko ones. But any normal church would be against abortion now. Um, most of them don't do much. You may throw some money at um, the Crisis Pregnancy Center, but, they, um, but as you can see, today I'm the only one out here so far but there's usually, there's usually people out here. There's a, there's a good team of people that come out here. Um, but I don't know what to say. They just keep killing these children. It's gonna bring God's wrath upon us. You know, God's wrath, God's not gonna ignore all these children, the bloodshed from all these children being killed. His children that he made in his image and likeness the greatest creation higher than the angels, the creation of man, and, and these baby killing abortionists and baby killing uh, employees of Planned Parenthood are murdering these, his children. You think he's just gonna ignore it? God's not gonna ignore that. Look what he did when Cain slew Abel. Then that was only one person that he slew. And they're, sl and they're slaying people in this building pretty much every day, maybe not Sunday, maybe not Saturday. I don't know, I don't know all when they're doing it. They do it a lot. This is the, the, the Virginia statistics from the health department have, um, this has been the largest number of babies killed in a year. Every year they put out the numbers and this, this particular abortion mill has the largest numbers. And it's, it's a terrible thing. 
God's wrath will come. You know, if we can stop it, we would. We, if, you know, if I could do something, then stand outside this fence right here, I would do it. But you know, as soon as I went anywhere, one foot on this property, they they would have the police on me. I couldn't get any place. I'd be in jail. So what? You know. I believe in saving babies, not just being arrested to being arrested. That, that, that doesn't, that's not the point. The point is to save the children, the babies in here from being killed. And we do save a few, but most of them are, are murdered. The majority of babies that go in here with them inside their mothers are murdered by these baby killing abortionists, where by chemical abortions, or by surgical abortions, they they murder these children, and God's wrath will be poured out. There's no way out of it, you know, unless a miracle happens and the country repents in sackcloth and ashes, and we repent before God for the bloodshed that's gone on in this country. Even before 1973, you know, it used to be a state issue before that. You know, I came here from New York and abortion was legal there before 1973. What 1973 did, Roe v. Wade, was legalize it for the whole country. Made it a national law, just like they did with the homo marriages. Some states, homos could get married in, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then they took it to the Supreme Court and made a national law out of it. So now in every state, homos or sodomites, as the Bible calls them, um, can get married. But they're not married. You know, how you, they can go through a ceremony, but two men cannot marry one another, and two women cannot marry one another, even if they go through the ceremony. God is what binds a man and a woman together. He makes them one. And he's not gonna take two men or two women and make them one in him. No, it's not gonna happen. He says it, he says it's an abomination. It's an abomination. I don't know if you can see it. They have a homo flag in this place. They have the homo flag right underneath the American flag. There's not a lot of wind today, so it's hard to see. It's right at the top of that tree. And um, so, please don't go to the abortion clinic. God loves you and your baby. Think about your baby. Your baby has a heartbeat, yes. Yes, yes, please don't go. They're killing babies in this building. You shouldn't be going in a building like this. This is a building where babies are killed. So this is typical. You know, sometimes, once in a while, they'll come talk to me. Most of the time, they ignore me. Sometimes they make signals like this woman does. But this guy's delivering their lunch to get I got something to say to him you know that this is the abortion clinic where they're killing babies in this building what they're gonna pay you with is the blood money from these babies that they kill that's where their money comes from killing babies and when they pay you and give you a tip that's with the blood money that comes from this organization, Planned Parenthood. Okay, my friends, it's up in the 90s today. I know it's beginning to go back and forth now, but today is in the 90s, and I think it's in the 90s now, the way I feel. So God bless you, and praise the Lord Jesus, and in the name of Jesus, I curse this building, the blood of Jesus against you, Satan you baby killing building the blood of Jesus against you the blood of Jesus against the man that's murdering these children the blood of Jesus against everybody that participates in the murdering of these children and I pray Lord Jesus you dry up the resources and this building will come down like the walls of Jericho came down come down in the name of Jesus I rebuke you in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus Goodbye. I pass Halli Laudes, I molen Christiani, Agnus Redemit Oves, Christus in Notens Patri, 
Reconciliabit.